Okay, this rabbit has a cuterebra larvae, which is a bot fly larvae. And when they get to this point that the skin is open, you reach in with a sterile instrument. You need to be careful not to puncture the larvae. You want to grab it by the top and pull it out without busting it. That is what was living inside of him. And you want to be sure to mash them so they die when you're all done. And then take rock side on a q-tip go down in the wound and wash it out good and you're going to want to do this twice a day until the wound is healed and then I give them shots of penicillin while they're healing up and you will want to Figure your proper dosage based on the weight of the rabbit. And that's something you need to research. Because I'm not going to say what it is because every rabbit is a different weight. And sometimes they're little baby rabbits. So if you're going to attempt something like this, do your homework. I'm just showing the procedure for removing the monster from the rabbit. But you want to clean it out really good until your q-tip is coming out pretty clean and then do that twice a day until the hole closes up. It'll close from the inside out. It's usually going to take 10 days to two weeks for that to happen. Mm. And uh, it's it appears easy, simple. But if you bust that worm in there, uh, you could kill the rabbit because it infects and it starts to eat away the skin. It just gets really ugly. If it busts, I cut the whole wound open. I clean the whole wound out, make sure I get all the fragments of the, the fly, the bot fly out. You don't have to pay $350 if you can stomach it because that's about what a vet will charge you to take them out. So that's today's class.